Pleasant Valley head coach Tony Bush was itching for another program first last night. However, Emmaus's Julia Cody would put a damper on that plan. The senior scores a couple minutes into the contest before the Bears fight back. Back-to-back -back goals from the Bush sisters follow as Devin Bush scores in transition before senior sister Alex converts on a free position for her only score of the game. Emmaus answers with two as Cam Watkins feeds inside to Cody, who gives the Hornets a 3-2 advantage. Devin Bush would have an answer on the other end, battling through the defense to shoot left for one of her three goals in the contest. Now Emmaus would take over from here, scoring the next five goals of the first half. The EPC MVP Cody would have three in the stretch before Sophia Candy has the final say of the first. Off a pass from Watkins, she quick sticks it through and the Hornets are up eight to three into halftime. Pleasant Valley not going down without a fight, scores three consecutive goals to start the second as Brielle Mackinall first converts off a free position before showing off her stick work to come within two. Emmaus then got strategic, limiting PV's possessions and allowing Cody some space. The Bloomsburg commit scored seven goals in the contest. Her final coming in the very last second with a 1-2-3 punch. Emmaus are your 2022 District 11 3A champions with an 11-6 victory over Pleasant Valley. While Pleasant Valley did have the advantage statistically in the draw circle 11-7, that advantage was turned over over to the Hornets once they got a lead and were able to play more conservatively, winning their first District 11 title since 2011. Jordan's put a lot of work and I think having Jordan in there um, for the full game obviously makes a big difference for us. Uh, she did a great job, but I, a lot of credit to Julia and Michaela on the circle too. We told them there was going to be a lot of 50-50 balls and they just had to be determined to come up with the ball and they did a better job tonight than they, they have against them all season. So that that's huge, having possession. The game changer, I would say, is when we started figuring out the draws. Um, Jordan was doing an amazing job on the draw. Michaela and I were reading what was happening and where it was going to go, which really boosted our confidence and it helped us throughout the game. Feels amazing. I mean, I've pretty much worked for this since freshman year. We've always wanted a district win. We haven't had one, I'm pretty sure, since like 2011. Um, it feels really good. This feels great. I only started playing lacrosse freshman year, so freshman year, it was uh, sad that we didn't make it, and then sophomore year with COVID, and then last year, we came up shy on districts, losing to freedom, so this feels awesome. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's great. That's the best feeling for me is the girls have worked so hard for it just to see their happiness that that makes the makes the night so special. Um, obviously as a coach it's something that we've you know worked a long time at um, but I just it's just so rewarding to see the excitement in the girls and they're just such a great group of girls. They love each other. They play for one another. You saw the celebrations out there um, and it's just so, so much fun to watch. At Lehigh University, I'm Gwen Begley for the Service Electric Network.